Today, Kyrie will be joining the Lakers. Kyrie, LeBron, and Anthony Davis will now be forming a big three in Los Angeles to form one of the greatest super teams the NBA has ever seen. We will be seeing if this big three is good enough to win LeBron a couple more championships before he retires and how well Kyrie and LeBron would work out at this stage in their career. Obviously, I had to turn trade override to get this done, but I gave them Austin Reeves, Gabe Vincent, Jalen Hood, and then I also gave them Rui Hachimura, Jared Vanderbilt, and a future first round pick. It was the best thing I could do to try to get Kyrie on the team. I am going to try to get a late first round pick here because now that I have a pretty good understanding of who these players are in the 24 draft, I pretty much know what I can trade for. I'm going to be trading a bunch of our second round picks. I'm going to try to get a couple of late first rounders because we are going to be so deep in the cap space because when you have Kyrie, LeBron, and AD, you pretty much don't have money for anything else. So we'll see if I can get this pick too. All right, perfect. So we now have two late first round picks. Oh my gosh, Reed Shepard is still available. Hold up, Steph Curry, 40 inch vertical. Welcome to the Los Angeles Lakers. Jared McCain's still available? Dude, I was gonna look through these because Tristan Da Silva would not be bad. Tyler Smith is good. Trenton Flowers is good. Kyle's good. I mean, they are still some great role players, but Jared McCain and Reed Shepard are still available. There's our bench backcourt right there with ease. We do have to worry about getting LeBron back and just hoping that he doesn't retire early on. We'll give him like 49 mil on a two-year contract. He does agree to it. So perfect. Can I even give D'Lo an extension? Boy is declining 21 mil from us. All right. Well, this is the issue, right? We have no bench. We have Reed Shepard. I'm going to move Kyrie to the one. He goes up to a 95 overall. So now we have Kyrie, LeBron, and AD starting. So I need to fill out the positions beside them which they aren't the worst okay well hold up i could get haywood highsmith and move him to the three could get kyle anderson and also do that i don't really know what i want to do here because we have two guards in reed shepherd and jared mccain i would love for them to come off our bench this first season and then just fill up the starting lineup with other players i might honestly sign just a couple of these players real quick and then package them. Javante Green's not bad. All right, we're going to package these three players and see if I can get a better wing in the starting lineup, which I should be able to, I hope. It's actually not a bad trade. Neither is Delano, Banton, and Kamara. Could get Bronny James on the roster. Steven Adams, I don't have any room for you. Derek Jones Jr. is low-key a perfect role player for this team. I could instantly start him at the small forward position. I could also start Josh Richardson at the two and Duncan Robinson at the three. Caruso, okay, that's kind of perfect alongside Kyrie. I still would have to worry about getting a starting small forward, though Clint Capella and AD would be interesting. I honestly, let's try that. I've never once tried that in my entire life. We have absolutely no shooting down low, which I guess I could start Reed at the starting shooting guard position and i mean that's fine so now we have kyrie reed lebron ad and clint capella in the starting five darvin ham has saved the lakers looks like we are going to be over a 51 team this season and there are still a ton of improvements we can make to the bench we can also move ad to back to the five if i want to get rid of clint capella i'm not too sure how that duo worked out we just lost like oh my gosh we just went on like a five game Losing, losing streak. We actually had Rookie of the Year and Reed Shepard as well. And we got him with like the 20th pick in the draft. So I will take that. We don't have any All-NBA players. AD does make the All-Defensive second team. And then both Jared McCain and Reed Shepard made the All-Rookie first team for us. We are the third seed in the West right now. AD with 20, 11, 3, a steal, and 2 blocks. Clint Capella, 9, 12 rebounds, half a steal, 2 blocks. LeBron, 22, 6, 8, a steal, and a block. Kyrie, 23, 4, 4, and a steal. Reed with 14, 2, 5 assists, 2 steals, half a block. I definitely like the starting 5 a lot. Like I said, I don't know how I feel about having AD and Clint Capella down low, so we'll see what I do with that. Jared McCain with 9, 3, and a steal off the bench. Willie Hernan Gomez with 9 and 6, also a steal. 
I don't, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this guy's name. He averaged 6 points for his shot, 37% from the build, barely over 30% from 3. Then I had Igadala at the backup shooting guard position. So like I said, definitely a lot of improvements to be made to the bench as we do make it to the second round of the playoffs. And we actually make it to the conference finals playing a Thunder team of Shea, Getty, Dort, Jalen, Chet, OG off the bench, Drummond, Casey Wallace. They almost always get these two players in my rebuilds. We're probably going to get smacked by this team as we actually win in 6 games and 80 takes Western Conference Finals MVP shot 56% from three. If he can do that consistently, then I don't hate running him and Clint Capella down here. I do want to check our playoff stats real quick. 80 is right now averaging 23, 12, 3, 1, and 2. 55% from the field, 37% from three on two attempts a game. That's not awful. LeBron with 23, 6, 8, 1, and 1. Clint Capella, 11 rebounds, a steal, and a block. Man, I don't, I don't hate having them down there. If AD is going to shoot the three ball like that, we're going to take this game by game. If we might go ahead and win an NBA championship here as we are blowing a 2-0 lead. Oh my gosh. We just lost three games in a row as soon as I said we might win an NBA championship. Both of us just scored 35 in that first quarter. That's low-key nuts. In the third quarter, we do take it. Looks like we are going to win this game barely. We win by three because we just allowed 34 points in the fourth quarter. In that game, LeBron had 36 and 10. Jared McCain off the bench with 13. Wow. Roach did not shoot that well. Clint Capel, AD, what happened, dude? You got to step it up. Come on. All right, we're going to simulate this last game with Simcast. We have a seven-game series here against the Cavs, and we are going to take the first two quarters. So this is looking good unless we just allow. Wow. Okay, so we are NBA champions. LeBron wins another Finals MVP, averaging 24-6-8-1. We go ahead and barely win an NBA championship here. We won the game by five because we just allowed 44th quarter Point series. Garland did everything he could to stop us from winning that game. LeBron with another master class. Kyrie, that's fine. Reed Shepard really stepped it up as our rookie. 8 for 11 from the field in game 7. The team played really well. Like I said, I really might keep Clint at that starting 5. If AD wants to shoot the 3 ball that well. He didn't shoot it that well in the 2023 to 2024 season. So, like I said, I'm kind of surprised that it was falling like that in the playoffs. I don't even know who that is, bro. All right, Kyrie declined his player option, which means we're going to have to give him the bag, which means we're not going to have much money once again. This is like our... Oh, my gosh. Ain't no way. Well, time to do some trade overrides in a second. Where's Clint Capella at? What overall is he? He's an 82. That's it? We got to give this man 30, year, 30 mil a year. All right, is Kyrie back out here? He is. All right, you get, you get enough 48 mil, bro. Please, thank you. All right, we get Kyrie back. So now we have Kyrie, Reed Shepard, who played phenomenal in his rookie season. Definitely keeping him at that starting two. But we definitely have... We need to improve the bench. If I move AD to the five, he stays the same overall. LeBron stays the same at the power forward position. So I might explore Clint Capella trades and pair him with some first round picks and just see what pops up. I'm not looking for anything crazy. I just want to explore these trades and see if something better is here. Isaiah Hartenstein wouldn't be bad, but Clint Capella also did have a really good season for us. Wendell Carter Jr. definitely provides us some more shooting. 39% from three last season. Did grab seven boards, 13 points. That's actually not a bad trade at all if I wanted to do that. Honestly, at the end of the day, I think I'm just going to keep Clint Capella and then we definitely, we have to improve the bench. It's that simple. Karis LeVert's still available. We're definitely going to take him for scoring off our bench. Him paired with Jared McCain is going to be super nice. Seti Osman, I can take you and move you to the small forward position. Let's take Luke Kennard. How that man's a minimum contract is beyond me. I can slide him to the three. He goes up almost to an 80. So now we have Jared McCain, Karis LeVert, and Luke Kennard off the bench which that is a ton of scoring. So hopefully I can get a rebounding big man. There's Bronny James. I could get him. Did he even play his rookie season? He's probably in the G League. Um, Luke Cornette isn't awful. Probably the best big we're going to see. Zeke is actually not bad either. 31% from three, and he's only 24 years old. Grant Williams could get him as well. I think I'm just going to play it safe and get Luke Cornette on the team. We also get that first round pick. So now we have Kyrie, Jared McCain, 
Reed Shepard, Karis LeVert, LeBron, Luke Kennard, AD, Clint Capella, and Luke Cornette. I feel like we're around the same record wise as we were last season. I can't remember how many games we won last year, but it looks like we are going to be a 60 win team just barely as Wimby does get his first MVP. Wow, Marcus Sasser most improved, and then Jalen Durham won six man, but he's on the Jazz now. The Jazz actually just unveiled their jerseys for the next season, and they are insane. De'Aaron, oh my gosh, there we go. Uh, we don't have any all NBA players. AD is back to the all defensive first team, though, so that is good. We are now the second seed. We're playing the Kings in the first round. AD with 19, 11, 4 over, still two blocks. Reed with 16, 3, 5, 2 steals, half a block. He really might take over this team. Clint Capella, 9, 12, half a steal, a block. He is 31 now, so I might trade him. Kyrie with 22, 4, 4. And a steal. LeBron 21, 6, 7, a steal, and a block despite being 40. Jared McCain 13, 3, and a steal off the bench. Or 36 ads. Wow. Are really good. I just don't have a spot in the starting lineup for him. Carousel Burt with 8, Luke Kernard with 7, Luke Kernett with 4 and 4. Also a block, 54% from the field as well. Was only getting like 16 minutes a game. We do 4 1 the Kings in the first round, and then we 4 1 the Jazz to play the Thunder. Once again, who added Rudy Gobert off the bench. How how do you afford this team? I say yeah, Jackson's here too, bro. How how do you have the cap space for this? I, I want to know. Somebody to let me know, because I'm definitely not affording that. Oh my gosh, are we going to sweep? We just swept them, and it looks like we're going to be playing the Raptors here, who are the 8th seed in the finals. They've quickly, Robert Dillingham, that's a great addition for them. 19-3 and a steal. RJ, Scotty Barnes, Jakob Perto, Gary Trent Jr., Grady Dick. This is a really good team. They also picked up Killian Hayes. I'm not worried as we do beat them in five games to win our second championship. LeBron averaged 23, 7, 8, a steal over a block, two win finals MVP. Definitely still our best player. Bro thought he was retiring. You still got one more year left. Staff signing. Darvin Ham has low key been coming in clutch for us. Never thought I would ever say that. But I mean, he's the GOAT. What can I say? The greatest coach in NBA history don't know who that is team player options definitely gonna get both of these guys back i still can't believe i got them that late in the first round our first year of the rebuild is there anybody that i'm just missing where's lebron i gotta get lebron back on the team all right he does agree for uh i mean i'd hope so we're giving that man 50 year at 45 years old all right so we get him back there are actually really good bench players available that we can sign like i said i want to explore trades for clint and I don't want to get rid of Jared McCain, but I just don't have a starting spot for him. So it's not the worst thing in the world for me to explore options here. I'm not going to trade him unless there's like an insane deal that I want. Taylor Hendricks would not be a bad wing. I could put LeBron at the 4 and AD at the 5. We also get whoever this is. I don't know who that is, but Bobby Portis, Andre Jackson. I'm really not seeing anything too crazy to trade Jared McCain so we're just gonna keep the starting five the same and I honestly we're probably just gonna run it back with the team I could get Kelly Olenek who averaged six four two assists last season Luke Cornette really didn't play bad I think I'm just gonna give him a two-year four million dollar deal and run it back so it's the trade deadline we're well over 30 wins Jared McCain is playing like a beast off our bench in 20 something minutes there's just since we have Kyrie, I can't start him, and I still have Reed Shepard. I can get Kawhi Leonard on the team. I would move that man to the small forward position so fast. Could get Randall as well. Why are these trades insane? Derek White. All right, we're doing this. I there's no. I have to do that. We're gonna move Kyrie, or sorry, Kawhi to the three. Goes up to an 88. We'll move LeBron to the four and AD to the five, and that'll be the new starting lineup. Now we have Andre Jackson Jr., so we can run him at the bench three. I can keep Karis LeVert at the 2. That means I can trade Luke Kennard and Luke Cornette, which I kind of have to because now I have I have two bench players in a shooting guard and small forward, so I need a big 100%, which I have 278 players. Andre Drummond is kind of perfect for the team. Probably going to take him, but I do want to look at all the other trades. It's because, I mean, this guy is 23 and is averaging 10, 6, a still and a block those shooting splits might be the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Definitely seeing some good players here. Jonathan Isaac is interesting, and we also get Trey Lyles. That's really that's not bad at all. Why why is why is everybody shooting splits horrendous? Malcolm Brogdon would not be bad 
either Sadiq Bey and James Harden. I could move this man to the power. Dude, I, I have to do this. It's that simple. The team is now on a whole nother level. We'll have James Harden at the backup point guard position and Sadiq Bey at the backup power forward position. <laughs> I ruined the team. We finished the season with 47 wins. How is beyond me? I mean, just yikes. Reed Shepard with 19, 3, 5, 2 steals. Almost a block. AD 18, 11, 3 over still 2 blocks. I think the team's just getting too old. AD is 34. Kyrie's 35. Average is 19, 4, 5, and a steal. LeBron's 41. Average 26, 7, a steal, and a block. Kawhi's also 35. 14, 3, 3, 2 steals, half a block. Sadiq Bay 10, 4, 1. Andre Jackson with 5, 4, 3 assists. James Harden with 9, 3, and 6 assists off the bench. Karis LeVert with 7. Honestly, if we lose in the first round here, oh my gosh, we're getting smacked. Wow, we just lost in the first round with this team. We had Kyrie, Reed Shepard, Kawhi, LeBron, AD, Harden, Karis LeVert, Andre Jackson, and Sadiq Bey. That's honestly quite sad that we did that bad. We were literally so... We had like we were 32-18 and 18 before I made those trades at the trade deadline. We finished the season with 47 wins. Just not a good look at all by the Lakers organization as the Nuggets do win another NBA championship and Jokic Twins finals MVP. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you all with the next video.